here's how you're gonna add data and for each time year period in Bansko you come to actually here after you have the list you select format and then you say new a format and from here you have different things for example if you want to uh, add this kind of header information like what the, the bank coming from which country so those are the static information maybe this bank's num ISIN number if it has and other specific so those are the more static information but then you can select for example financial profile or different items for example, if you select total asset, then you have different year. You can say, let's say fixed time period, so you want you want all the time period for to 1996. You put it all here. Now total asset of all this. So you can do all this each item for different time period separately. So let's say now that's okay. Let's save it format one and click OK then you will see all the information you need is here and now what you need to do is just do an export to 2007 all banks etc click export and this come on where is this so when it's ready then you just click close and go to the file. So you will download the file, you click open, you should be able to open the file which contain all the information you want. Or the bank, national what is national ideas? So those are the information you have. Those are the list of banks. I just select all those banks, four hundred banks in the Asian area. Actually, I forgot to record the others. How you actually generate the list? If you want to generate the list, you come here in the search area, and here I search by location. You can just this is the first interface actually come in in Bansko anyway. So you click look up, and here it will be a list of country and area you can you can select. I select Asian ten, Asian ten, or you can just select by like the subset of countries if you want to you can extend them um, but here I just select all of them and that's how we do it and you click search then it will generate the whole list hope this helped and uh, because this is already the default format so you can change different type of format the standard default we can new other format for example call them as a uh, balance sheet uh, or different items. Okay, this is a better way than using the Excel at end.